welcome to the conference uh, and welcome to Aix and to Provence. I was the Principal Director General of the International ETA Organization uh, at the very start. I'm here uh, right now on the Magnet Conference MT28 because I'm supporting a fusion startup in Germany uh, that's trying to get fusion commercialized as soon as possible and learn as fast as they and we can from uh, what ETA has achieved already. I'm the technical program lead for the Central Solenoid Project from General Atomics. We deliver the beating heart of ITER. And we're happy to be here in X at the Magnet Technologies Conference. Uh, it's, it's good for us to come out here and meet old friends and make new friends and, and learn about the, the progress of the technology and where it's going to go. And, and we really look forward in how we can participate in the future. We've delivered three of the seven modules so far to ITER. Uh, three of them are on site. The fourth one is actually shipping from San Diego today. Uh, and then the rest of them will be delivered later next year. The central solenoid is the, the beating heart of ITER. It is a uh, 13 Tesla pulsed superconducting magnet, and it's the, the, the strongest pulsed superconducting magnet in the world as of right now. We'll see what else comes out of the MT28 conference. I've been working on the ITER project for about 10 years now, and I'm part of the group that's helping put together the uh, central solenoid magnet. That's a large uh, magnet that's in the middle of the machine. It's my first uh, MT uh, conference. It's great to be here. Um, I'll be giving a talk on the CS on Wednesday, and I'm looking forward to talking to other colleagues about some of the technical challenges they faced, how they've resolved those, um, kind of like uh, tricks that we might be able to use in the future. And then it's just, of course, always interesting and fascinating to listen to uh, very bright people talk about very cool stuff. And, and the conference here is, is really amazing. Um, there's such a broad range of superconducting technologies, everything from advanced uh, commercial fusion that's on the verge of happening, all the way to the most um, advanced um, fusion magnets in the world and ITER that are getting ready to come together and, and uh, make a clean breakthrough in energy, and very, very high field HTS magnets and accelerator magnets that are being installed into the high luminosity upgrade at CERN. There are many, many great pieces of technology that we're looking at here today, and um, it's a great place to be, and it's great to see how all of the uh, magnet technology is advancing at the Magnet Technology Conference. I'm here for this uh, very nice uh, magnet technology conference uh, to exchange uh, with colleagues, with uh, national institutes, with private companies about superconductivity. And this is really a great opportunity also to share what we are doing uh, at CS Aclay. We have a long tradition uh, to work on the superconducting magnets for uh, physics particles. Uh, as well as, uh, more recently, MRI systems. And especially, Saclay uh, is involved in the ESOL project, that's a, a superconducting uh, magnet uh, for uh, MRI systems. This magnet is operated at 11.7 Tesla. And uh, the MRI has been uh, recently fully commissioned. Uh, this is really a very important step uh, for my group. Um, at this 
conference here, I, I like to see the progress that has been made in all these different activities moving forward. For industry, this is um, always some, some rally between two um, projects coming, but uh, business is coming bigger and bigger, that's, that's important. But uh, as the real need to keep the supply chain for these uh, productions um, steady. And because of that, I see a real advantage for those uh, fusion projects that take advantage of the existing supply chain instead of trying to develop a new one. Thank you everyone for showing up here to the press conference for MT28, the 28th edition of the Magnet Technology Conference. We have um, with us here some very distinguished representatives of multiple industries and fields that are using magnets um, to push the future. The ITER project uh, mm, is, uh, yes, uh, the flagship on fusion research in the world. And um, it um, aims uh, to reproduce uh, nuclear fusion at a scale that could be eventually um, yes, reproducible in commercial uh, power uh, production. The fusion uh, requires a magnetic field. No magnets, uh, no fusion. And technology uh, that related to the creation of magnetic fields needed for fusion has been, say, one of the, maybe the most important research activity that has been carried out along the life of ITER. A lot of, say, spin-offs and development came about, um, yes, because of ITER. Um, it's also exciting to see the progress with ITER. ITER has delivered on a promise which everyone was dreaming about and we start to see the advanced uh, technology of uh, this um, exploitation of uh, superconducting which will enable a new applications for the future. Welcome everyone, bon appetit. I hope you're enjoying your, your lunch and it's really lovely to see all of you here. We thought that today would be a good chance for a bit of networking, but also to talk with some experts in magnet technology from around the world to find out a little bit more about their careers. The fusion is an interesting um, search for me, for my profession. In Uruguay, there are not um, there are not fusion experiments, so uh, I wish to, to get close to my country with this uh, with this with the participation of this uh, congress. I am an ambassador of my country of Uruguay. I don't know, but uh, I want to to be in the future for the fusion uh, items for the fusion themes. Welcome to the sponsor concert. I'm chair of the Women in Fusion session. My name is Ming Liao. Tonight, we will experience a world music adventure. Um.